Okay. So I thought it's long overdue to make a video on the auto wake system and how to adjust different things in your Moomba. Um, I have a 2017, but my Moomba has been updated with the 2018 software. So if you have a 2017 and you see this and think it's different, that's why. But this should be basically for the same kind of setup for any kind of Moomba that has 2017, 2018 software. In 2019, they changed the screens and the way everything looks. But if you look around, there should be similar ways to do what I'm about to do here. Okay, so here you can see we're just in the normal uh, mode where there's no cruise control on, there's no auto wake, and it's just basically sitting there doing nothing. Boat's not running, but I can do everything I need to do except fill an empty ballast right now. So the first thing, obviously, is you should know that when you press this button, you go into the cruise control, and then you can set it to whatever speed you want from here. And I would imagine at this point as well that you know how to change surf sides. Obviously with this switch here, I can go from left to right. So when I go left, there you go. You can maybe have heard the the deployment of the weight, uh, sorry, the surf plate. So it's surfing left. So if I hit this button, which shows the ballast levels, now I can see that my plate has deployed to 55% on the right hand side or starboard side of the boat so that I can surf left. And conversely, when I switch it to the other side, starboard surf, which is for goofy footers, now you can see the plate has deployed on the port side. Now, a lot of people don't even know how to adjust this plate deployment and you do it with these buttons. As you can see, there's a plus and a minus. Plus is up, minus is down. So if you press it up, it'll go up in 5% increments. And you might be able to hear that. So what I have found is that the best surf wake that you can get with my boat and most of the other boats that I've seen, the Moombas, is that for Goofy Foot, you want to be around 65, between 60, 65, 70% deployment. When you go less than this, the wave gets steep but super mushy. And when you go over 70%, it gets flat. And cranking this down to 100 does not mean the wave's going to be biggest. It doesn't work like that. When you go to 100, if you try it out and look at your boat, it'll be flat as a pancake. And I don't know anyone that could surf like that unless you weigh 50 pounds. So, again... You hear the smart plates deployed at 100% because I'm not running, It's that's the standard setup. But when I surf, I basically have the wake plate all the way up to 0%. Somewhere between 0 and 15 is usually all you really need. Once you start getting over that, you're just pushing the stern of the boat out of the water. Same goes for the surf plates. The more you push those down, the more the boat comes out of the water because they're basically acting like a control surface on a wing. So when those go down, it pushes what it's attached to up. So you don't really want to go too far with those, but I like my wave surf style. So I like it steep. So we usually run 0%. I might go down to 10, 15% just to clean it up, but I would prefer to bump up my speed to clean up the wake rather than use the plates because you're just counteracting your ballast. So other questions that people have all the time are in auto wake. Not everyone has auto wake, but when you press auto wake, now you can see the screen. Here is the amplitude setting and these plus minus buttons now here will change my amplitude setting. What amplitude means basically is how much I want the boat to sit in the water. So 100% means it's going to try and put as much ballast as possible to sink the boat as deep as possible. Now, in the 2018s and up, they actually have a draft gauge, which this is connected to when it measures the actual depth 
of the boat in the water. Now, I don't have a draft gauge, so what it does for me is when it adjusts ballast, it estimates what the actual amplitude of the boat is. And as it, re so if I start with 100% ballast in the system, these will go, this arrow here will go down as it starts removing ballast if I'm going into auto wake. Now, if we go into the surf mode in auto wake, you can see here the pitch and the roll, and these numbers here are set in the menu. So when I go to the opposite side, now you'll see the roll is five degrees. So rotating to the right is positive, rotating to the left is negative. Now, people are also asking how on earth do I change this pitch and roll setting? Go down into your vessel settings. Here we have three different options here. The ballast fill drain, these are the timers for how long everything takes to fill and drain and these are what I've calculated using a, time, a stopwatch and it will vary whether you're sitting there idling or if you're moving because the, as the voltage increases from the, the engine speed going up the pumps run faster they might fill faster so these aren't exact but they get you close to where you want to be. You can always adjust them by clicking select and then I can go plus or minus to change the time. All right, and there you got all the different bags. Basically, what I've found is that with the single pump system like I have, it'll fill around about 100 pounds a minute, uh, give or take. So here you can see I have 1,000 pound bags in the back. They take about 10 minutes to fill each side. And then with the center tank and the bow filler, uh, sorry, the bow, bow bag, um, it's around 14 minutes to fill and drain. Here you can see that the drain times for the rear bags are longer. And I think that's because when you're draining, you don't always get the best suction, especially as the bag gets lower, like some of the bag will try and fold down in front of the port. And sometimes that'll restrict the flow. So that's why my drain times are longer. So going back again, other things you can do, reset the ballast level. So for example, say you're filling it up, your timer says nine minutes to fill, but you start spewing out the side when it's 10 minutes, uh, sorry, it was 10 minutes and it hit, took nine minutes to do it. You can go into either, you can select all, if everything's full, you can select that and either go to full or empty. And once you press that, it'll set everything to 100%. So if I close this now, I'll exit out of here. You can see it says the ballast is 100% even though I've got no water in here. So if I go back again, vessel settings, reset ballast levels, all, select, empty, done, close. They all went to zero. So we're out of auto wake again. We'll go back into auto wake just for fun. Um, so setting these values, again, hit the main menu, vessel settings. Here, auto wake settings. Now, when you don't have a side picked, um, it'll automatically think that you're wakeboarding. So here for wakeboarding, it says, my setting is eight degrees and minus five roll, which is what the factory is. And I found that those are fine. Um, you can reset this uh, here or calibrate the inclinometer. This is a way to go in here. Well, this is not the best way to do it, but if you go back, oh, now I'm screwing it up. If we go here, now, if you want to change this, which some people want to do, if you toggle, now you see surf starboard, which is goofy footers, surf port, which is natural foot, and you can see there's different settings there. So for me, I like for the goofy foot, eight and a half degrees of pitch, but the roll is fine at five degrees. For port, I again go eight and a half degrees and my roll set point, I have a little bit more at minus 3.5, which means the boat is tilted a little bit more to the left. Seems to get a good wake that way. So here you can set whatever you want. Now, getting out of this, so when you're set up in the boat and you're going, this number will change depending on the attitude of the boat. These do not. When you get less than half a degree of this setting here, these will go green, meaning you're close to what it is and then auto wakes happy. 
Now, not everyone likes to use auto wake surfing, me being one of those people. I like it, it's perfect for wakeboarding because it makes sure that the wake is even on both sides, which I really like. But for surfing, what I find, and a lot of people find, is that you set it up, you start going, auto wake freaks out and starts dumping water. And when you have a small crew, that sucks. When your boat is full, auto wake, auto wake works great because you can tell people to move and counteract the pump system, all right? And that way it'll get you a pretty consistent wave. But when the crew is small, there's only so much you can do. So if you only got one or two people in the boat, depending on where they sit, that really affects the angle of, of the roll, especially, and it'll start compensating for that. Now, one of the things that people are always wondering is like, how can I tell what's going on with that? So, if you're just using the cruise function, you can either use the main menu or, I like this one because I can always watch to make sure because for whatever reason, sometimes when you switch sides, the smart plate likes to do what it wants and will sometimes go down to 25% for no reason. And that way I know where it is. Obviously you can see it from the gauge here, but you're not always paying attention to that. So I like this setting here. Now, if you're cruising along and you think, hey, I wonder what my pitch and roll are. All you have to do is press auto wake. Now, auto wake doesn't immediately go into function. It'll take around about 10 seconds. It'll say like auto wake countdown. In that amount of time, you can see where you are as far as your pitch and your roll and decide whether you like this or not or you want to record it or whatever. Now, you don't have to press this again to get out of it because if you do, it'll kick all the way out of cruise and then the speed will go crazy. It's the easiest thing to do from auto weight is flick a ballast switch. Now, the boat's not running, so if I flick it to fill, it'll tell me hey, I can't do it while the motor's not running. But you can do either hit either the fill or the empty button. And to exit that, you just press that button. So if I hit either of those buttons while I'm in auto wake, boom, I'm back to where I was. So it'll counteract auto wake and it will stop it before it starts dumping things. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you're curious about my setup, I have 1100s in the back and then under here, well, there's a bunch of crap, but I have 200 pound lead on either side and then at the front, at the back of each leg of the bow bag, I have a 50 pound bag. So I have 500 pounds in total plus the built in bags and I find that's pretty good. When the crew is small, we will sometimes put a 400 pound across this or we will just pull the seat out and set it right there. And then uh, if we re really want to get crazy and we don't have a lot of guys, we'll put a 400 pound bag either here or on here, fill it up and it really helps the wave a lot. I know that sucks, not everyone wants to start throwing bags everywhere, but when your crew is small, there's not a lot of options. Yes, you can go to the True Fit bags or Enzo bags, but all of this, gets taken up by the bags and for me I have under here I have another battery right here plus the heater so if I went to Enzo bags I would basically be only using maybe half the leg on this side so it makes no sense for me and I've got the, the 400s from before so I use those some people like to throw a bag up in the nose um, I have tried that I don't I don't see it helping all that much because what I find this boat the craze really needs is weight at the rear so the further back you can get the weight the bigger the wave is going to get yes it grows longer so if you've got a full boat you don't want everyone to sit at the back just try moving them around I would bias your surf side but have some people at the front too obviously the more people you get on your boat the bigger the wave is going to be so there's no substitute for displacement. Some people think, oh, we'll put a stick on wake shaper onto the side of these boats and make it bigger. No, it doesn't do that. It will not make your wake bigger. That's what your tabs are for to shape the wake. People that use the stick on ones don't have tabs or some kind of surf system, but they don't add 
height or power to the wave. I've tried it myself because I had a, a stick on one that I made for some friends and it just makes it like a big whitewash mess. If you like a super short wave that's right up against a swim platform and steep, go for it, but it's not really surfable. So in any case, hopefully all of this info has helped. And in case you're wondering what the hell these things are, on my lake we have sandbars and these things work great for anchoring the boat. They're about four and a half feet long. We just push them down into the ground. They cost about 10 bucks to make them and they work better than any conventional anchor that you can find. For deep water, I do use a regular Danforth style anchor, um, but for shallow, you, these things are hard to beat. I know there's some other people out there that might have them with augers on the end. I have not found those to be necessary at all. So anyway, if you have any questions, shoot me a message on Facebook and uh, I'll try and help you. Thanks.